Hey guys, Dr. Andre Pinesett here, and this is the Dominate Pre-Med Show, and today we're talking about a huge announcement, which I told you guys was going to happen, um, and that many medical schools are now announcing that they're going to provide a grace period to students to get their MCAT prep on, and they could take their MCAT date later in the cycle, and they're still going to consider these applications. But... Don't be lulled to sleep. There are some important things you must do and must understand about this to be successful. And I'm going to break it down in today's episode. This is the Dominate Pre-Med Show. Let go. What I teach you guys is transformation. If you didn't dominate, changes need to be made. So I give you guys entire systems that make you new. But stop making excuses, stop whining, stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. All right, guys, Dr. Pinesett here, the study doc, and this is the Dominate Pre-Med Show, all about getting you, what? To be a competitive, competent, confident pre-med, and to get into medical school, to get that white coat that you so badly dream of getting. So let's break it down. It's coronavirus time, it's COVID time, it's social distancing time, it's everything's interrupted, normal routine, can't even go to class. So of course, you can't take the MCAT. As a result, many students, so many of you guys had emailed me, it was crazy. I was getting like, my inbox was completely bogged down with students saying, oh my gosh, Dr. P, I'm about to take the MCAT and my date got canceled. My date's postponed. My, my date's in jeopardy. Will I lose my date? What should I do? What will medical schools do? Can I push my test date back? What's gonna happen? And as I laid out in my previous video, which I'll put a link to uh, below, when I talked about what some of the alternatives are and what some of the options are, what's gonna happen with medical admissions and what's gonna happen with MCAT test dates, one of those big dominoes has fallen. And one of the things I mentioned that schools might do is that they might provide a grace period and say, you know what, we'll consider your application complete and we'll move you further into our application cycle without the MCAT. And so right now, a lot of you guys are rejoicing like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. We don't need no MCAT. We're going to apply and get in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa. You didn't read the fine print. Yes, medical schools now will grant you secondaries and consider you complete without the MCAT. Some schools have gone as far to say, we will grant interviews to students who don't have an MCAT in. But the fine print of this is that they're saying MCAT scores will still be required to be admitted. And they are, again, in smaller lettering, are saying, well, if COVID goes on for a long time, social distancing goes, keeps going, you can take the MCAT, well, we might make adjustments to the cycle. And so what students are interpreting is, is, oh my gosh, I can apply with no MCAT and I'll be good to go and I won't have to take it and I'll never have to worry about it. Great, fabulous. No, 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 no. There are too many competitive, too many complete applicants for medical schools to admit a significant number of students without their MCAT. I'm not saying that no students will be admitted without their MCAT or with, or with an MCAT pending, but the reality is, is if I'm a medical school I want all the information. And even though, in my opinion, the MCAT is not necessarily a great determinant of who you will be as a doctor or who you will be as a medical student and is maybe disadvantageous to people who didn't take their early pre-med career seriously and their prerequisites, medical schools disagree with me. They think it, it is very important. They think it really matters. Both from a perspective of saying this student can handle the workload, this student will pass their board exams, but also from a matter of prestige and that medical schools want to be able to brag to their donors and to other medical schools near at conferences and say, oh, you know what? Our students have the highest MCAT average in the nation. They like that. So why in the world would a medical school give up that privilege because you didn't take your MCAT early enough in the cycle to avoid COVID? And I'm just saying this, right? This is, this is the reality, is if you're one of my students, you know, I tell you guys, you should be taking your MCAT early, not in May, not in June, because you're too close on that window. Anything might happen. I don't know. Maybe coronavirus might happen like it did this year. And so my point to you guys is, is don't think this is a get out of jail free card. You're still going to have to do your MCAT work. And you actually are kind of in a difficult position because what some students do, I don't know if you guys have seen this as a strategy, is that some students know their MCAT is gonna be a little bit late. 
And so what they do is they apply to one school to make sure that their MCAS application gets verified and gets submitted. And they wait for the MCAT score to come out. And then once it comes out and it's favorable, then they apply to a bunch of other schools. You won't have the luxury of doing that this year. So what you're doing now is you're going in blind, paying all that money to apply to all these different schools, making yourself a first-time applicant, meaning next year you'll be a re-applicant, not knowing when you're taking the MCAT, if you're going to be able to take the MCAT, and if when you take it, you're going to be as prepared as you would have been because there were so many changes with when your date was going to be. So I think there's a lot of students who are looking at this like, oh, this is amazing, this is amazing. And yes, it's great. They're giving you guys a grace period. So there's not so much pressure to feel like, oh, I got to the MCAT right now. But you still must, don't let your guard down. You still must be doing the preparation to make sure you're going to get a quality MCAT score because you will need that score to be qualified, to be considered, to be admitted to medical schools. I know, guys, I'm telling you. And some of you guys are going to comment and say, I'm crazy. Do it. Comment below. Let me know I'm crazy. But when I told you two weeks ago that schools were going to do this grace period, people said me crazy hate me. Oh, they're going to grace period. They are. They are. They're doing it. So now what I'm telling you is if you can't get the MCAT score by the end of your cycle, you're going to be in trouble in terms of getting admits. So make sure you guys take the time, do it right, prepare for the MCAT. Don't think you're just done. But what you guys should do to be strategic, right? So this is the other half. I said, I said, don't forget about the MCAT. But what you guys should do strategically is recognize. I don't believe, and I said it was a possibility that Pearson would allow you guys to test from home. It doesn't seem like they're going to do that. It's not in their best interest as a business to say, hey, we have no function, which they don't have any function. So I think what's going to happen is they're going to push MCAT dates back and say, you know what? Social distancing is going to last forever. We're going to be able to get these tests in. And now that we have a grace period to do it, we can start scheduling dates for August, September, October, whatever, adding extra dates to make sure students can take their MCAT. So for you guys, you're going to have months before your MCAT test date will come. So what I would say to you guys, the strategic thing to do right now is to actually schedule your MCAT for September. You take advantage of the grace period. Now, use this next month to get your application together. Focus on getting your application together. That way you can get that off your plate. And then you can spend May, June, July, August studying solidly and focused for the MCAT knowing that your application is tight other than the MCAT. So now you'll have a tight application that fits their timeline, plus you'll be in a position to give them an amazing MCAT to secure your admin. Does that make sense to everybody, right? So we're gonna be, we gotta be strategic. This is dominate pre-med, it's not get by pre-med, it's dominate pre-med, so we gotta figure out how we can be more strategic, smarter than the average bear. That's what we're trying to do, so this is how we're gonna do it. We're going to recognize that, no, we can't just forget about our MCAT. This is not an MCAT-free cycle. We know we have to take it. So, but we have a grace period, so we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to push our test in September. We're going to get our application busted out in April, maybe first part of May, so we're ready to submit on time. And then we're going to spend the summer, June, July, August, getting ready for our MCAT, focused in, giving the time it deserves, make sure our time is quality, getting the job done, and then we're going to get that MCAT score, and we're going to go on, get our acceptance, get our white coat, become a grazing doctor, have our family be proud of us. Oh my gosh, we love you, Dr. Bobo. Right? It's amazing. I know that feeling. And then we're going to live our lives. But to do that, we've got to be smart. We've got to recognize this is not a free pass. This is an opportunity. But some students are not going to take advantage some students are going to get lazy. Some students are going to overlook this. And some students are going to be mad as a mother when all this goes down and they can't get in. So think about this wisely, guys. Make a wise decision. Plan it out properly and get the work in, right? Do what's required. No excuses. Just dominate to get into medical school, to get there. And if you need help with the MCAT, Check the box below, guys. I have an amazing three-hour MCAT webinar. It's totally free to help you guys during this time getting your MCAT together. If you need application support, check the box below. I have a link to my amazing application course. I also do application reviews. So you can see that link in the box as well. So if you want to just learn exactly how to do the application, exactly how to do the personal statement and do it amazingly, I've got a course for that. And if you want extra help, extra support, extra feedback from me individually, you can get that as well, so click below and check that out. I thank you guys for joining me. This is the Dominate Pre-Med Show. You guys know the website. It's studenttransformation.com. If you want me to talk about something, if you need help with something, get over to my website, studenttransformation.com. Send me a voicemail. Let me get back to you. Let me talk to you. Let's talk it out. Let's figure out what's going on. 
um, and I can bring you guys a video on the, on whatever you're, you're you're asking me in, the, in that voicemail, and we can talk about it. I also have, like I said, courses, coaching programs to help you guys get through pre-med, get into medical school, and be successful. So check that out as well. And as always, this is your first time joining me. Is your first time? First time with me? Take a second, subscribe to the channel. Take a second, like this video. Take a second and comment, introduce yourself to me and let me know you're gonna be smart about your application cycle if you're applying this year. And the last thing I want you guys to do, this is so important, help other students out. Pay this forward. I'm giving them my time to help you. Take a second and share this video with your friends. Let them know, hey guys, don't fall asleep at the wheel. This is an opportunity, but don't botch this opportunity. Be prepared, take advantage of it. Thank you guys, I'm Dr. Pineset. How do we always end? No excuses, just dominate guys. See you next time. Today is the day guys. No more excuses, no more complaining. You're going to take your future in your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. Get to my website, studenttransformation.com. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better?